Welcome to All Hail Unicron, episode 22. Uh, All Hail Unicron, it's the podcast. It's a lot like that itch right there, your tent, your taint, and you're going to go for it. But there are people around, but you scratch anyway mm-hmm. and hope that they don't reserve judgment. I'm your host, Oscar Alonzo, and joining me is first and foremost, everyone's favorite Hail Hasbro champion, the one and the only Mr. Matthew Deluxe Baldwin. I actually sniff it after I scratch it, so that's pretty cool. Just to check and see. Okay, that that's fucking gross. All right, and coming up right behind him, as always, zipping up his pants, putting his shirt back on because he just did a a full rep of three hundred on the bar. He never counts the bar. The one you only missed, T two R six, Justin. Yellow, it's me. I I I said the zip up pants because you you lift it with your penis. Mm -hmm. I do. You just you just stand there and go science, math, (laughs) science, math. All right, so SDCC happened, you know. I'm pretty it sure did. about half the people that went there now have COVID. Um, but hopefully none of the – none of the no, – no one's passed on. Um, I will say in non-Transformer-related news, there was an actor who passed away today who I knew him, not by his movies, um, but by his voice work he did. Um, he played Rachel Ghoul on Batman, the animated series. And his name is David Warner. David Warner. He voiced Rachel Ghoul. He's the one that brilliantly would pull off the term detective. Uh, great actor. He did lots of films, but I know him more from Batman, the animated series. So, you know, rest in peace to the greats. So let's get this ball rolling. It's the Transformers SDCC edition. Our good friends over at the Roma Collectors are broadcasting live. It sucks because I really want to watch it, especially after watching Dustmite's unboxing of Motormaster. And to sit there and watch Dustmite sit there and say, there's like no waffles on this motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, this is going to happen. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting the Motormaster. So, yeah. Um, Transformer Earth Spark Trio. I have not seen this. Justin, have you seen this? Are we not going to say what we got? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry. I'm okay. out of it. It's been a crazy fucking week. So I got a lot anybody, of shit. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> anybody get anything? Uh, Justin? I did. Uh, I only got, though, the Finally. SH Figure Arts uh, 17 and 18 from uh, Dragon Ball Super, the Tournament of nice. Power. So. I don't know how much that means to anyone here who's not watching Dragon Ball, but at least someone listening probably knows what they look like. So I I know Robert does. Yeah, Robert Robert would know probably, but uh, he's not here. Yeah, he's not joining us tonight. He's with us in spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna go next because we got to save. Yeah, you got to sit sit down, buckle up for mine. Yeah, you sure do, bud. Yep, he had a Matthew Baldwin drop bust deluxe. Extreme. So I got, I pulled a Robert and I got in the um, Wreck and Rule Amazon exclusive Diaclone Twin Twist or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Twin Twist, yep. Yep. I got him, but I pulled a Robert D and ended up with two of them. Oh. And why not? I'm going to say now because by the time this airs, it should be at your house. Mr. Justin, I sent you the extra one. Oh. Well, so. Thank you. Yeah, you get a little, little <laughs> diaclone and um, um I, I, I'm over here looking at the back of this thing, right? And like, you know, the whole thing is like, oh, connect these and you can build like your own wreckers hammer, right? I'm like, oh, cool. Like, you know, maybe like a flimsy plot. No, it's fucking cardboard. Right. Oh, yeah, so cardboard, I was like, man, get fucked. But mm-hmm. other than that, it's it's a it was it was one of their best molds for Titans Returns. Um, I really liked it. I think it was great. Um, and now I got them in diaclone colors, which is pretty fucking cool. So I really hope they do twin tw- uh, top spin, no, twin twist. Is that the other one's name? Top spin. Yeah. Top spin. Yeah. So I, I hope they do him next. Um, they should. They'll, they'll do some. More. I think they're doing another um, 
uh, series. Of, uh, yeah. They showed world. They showed world on the uh, Twin Twists, and I think he'll be in the next uh, line. Nice. No, I mean, I love my MMC, but I don't mind having a Hasbro take on him. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so I got him. Let's see, what else did I get this week? That was pretty interesting. Uh, I got him. Um, I have not been able to. I've been messing with Black Zarek quite a bit. Uh, still one of my favorite cops. Um, I know I got a big stash drop at the Chosen Prime built up. Um, I did order G Axis, so he'll be coming soon. Um, oh, that's a good one. That is so good, dude. That's I've one seen of the better your players, review, man. a lot of people's reviews, and I'm thinking like, if there's any means to make a cone head, that's the mold to use to make like a modern man, cone head. That's a good, fun transformer so, right there, buddy. I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. It looks like a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like um, it a lot. Let's see what else did I get? I know I picked something else up this week. You know, it's it's like some before it's it's like sometimes Hasbro Hasbro gets it sometimes, and then Hasbro doesn't get it a lot of times. But man, yeah. sometimes you look at a figure and be like, man, whoever worked on this one knows what Transformers is. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it for me, Matt. Bless us with your. Picks. All right. Sit back, relax, man. I got a lot. Okay. So Studio Series, I got uh to two RCs. I got the Mobile Movie One, and I got the '86 version. Uh, as well, just got that in just uh, right before the show. Actually, um, I got Ironhide and uh, from the Bumblebee movie, and I got uh, Thundercracker and Galvatron as well. Nice. I got Bumblebee from Dark of the Moon, okay, uh, studio series, and then I got um, I actually got an Action Force. If you don't know what Action Force is, they're the uh, kind of like the classified, uh, but they're the Action Force ones. Um, I got they're the, like uh, third party GI Joes, not in a no. It's what they were called uh, overseas. Te- technically, it's not even third-party GI yeah, Joe's. It's, it's third GI party. Joe's They're... overseas. Yeah. yeah. So I got Steel Brigade. He's the um, oh, BBTS. Cool. He's the BBTS exclusive. I got him. Um, I got. I was uh, thank a big shout out to Shows of Prime. They let me look at the uh, King Toys, King Lion, and Desirius. Desarius, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, that's the Racer Claw. I was lucky enough to uh, look at that early. I just had to put out the review for today. If you don't mind, go watch it. Um, Goddamn, it's a prickly little thing. Uh, it's not little either. He's, he's a big fella. Um, <laughs> Seeing that, dude, I got flashbacks when I got Planet X Swoop and how much dude, it hurt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said in the review, man, it, it's a, it's a, it's just a breathtaking piece. I mean, the paint on it, it's just spectacular. But it is not fun to mess with. You got so much shit, and it looks like a Michael Bay version of you know what Predator King would be. There's just so much shit in his way. You can't really pose it because you have to, and just it's not a fun transformer. But God, my God, Predator King is just gonna be just when you walk into a room, you're gonna be like, my God, that thing looks fucking awesome. Yeah, it's badass. Nice. He looks like he, he's really badass. But uh, big shout out to the Chosen Proper. Let me see that early. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I also got Fans Toys Galvatron, the toy version. Um, got that. It's a beautiful piece, as always. They're, you know, right on the paint and the materials. Um, uh, I got the th- uh, three wreckers, just like you. I got Twin Twist. I got Springer and Bulkhead. Nice. Um, and they do form a, a paper mache head, uh, hammer, which is kind of stupid, but it whatever. It is so dumb. Like, I would have been more invested if it was like a hollow plastic hammer. You know, like yeah. I would have been okay with that, but it's cardboard. Yeah. You fold it, and you could have, like, you know, the Hasbro could have been like, "Hey guys, download this and make your own paper hammers." You know? <laughs> yeah, they could, yeah. Or they could have gave us a code or something. You could print off your own little something. Yeah, yeah. like come on, man. Um, love bulkhead. Bulkhead is my favorite out of them. Twin Twist was uh had some Q2 issues. You know, my mushroom peg from the waist kept falling off, and he he would just come apart. I always and I said during the review, I was like. You know, you could use him with Overlord or something, say, like, he got destroyed or something. Yeah. Uh, so, um, had some key two issues, and Springer was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, uh, Bulkhead is awesome. I love that mold. Awesome. Um, what else? I got, oh, I got um, Cyclone. I got the uh, Leg- Legacy Cyclonus, the toy version. I got that one. <clears throat> and I got, oh, one of my favorite pickups was uh, I got Magic Square Iron High Ken. If man justin you need to get this guy this thing is a mini masterpiece it is wonderful it looks beautiful it's fun it's a great i mean it's a it's a complex little transformation but it's fun you know satisfying um and it just looks good 
articulation just off the off the charts, and it just, they got so, you know, they give you so many uh, extra uh, um, accessories. You know, I think Meshwear that's what they're doing now. What they did with Hound, they did it with Jazz. You get a ton of accessories. I guess they're doing what X Trans Boss does. They, they just give you tons of accessories. You know, you put them in the box. But if you like to take pictures and stuff, yeah. I think you should get this. Do you are, do you have it on in a stash or anything like that? I or? don't right now, but I'll check out some reviews and see. Oh, if that changes. Check my review out, man. Come on now, you gotta watch my shit. Uh, yeah, well, I will. Uh, oh, I picked up uh, NECA. Watch him while he's vacuuming and stuff. Okay, <laughs> I put I got I picked up at uh, Target. I picked up NECA, the Mummy, and the Wolfman, uh, the older stuff. I got the Frankenstein as well, and I, I like the horror stuff, so I got the old monster stuff. And uh, I think that's it. I got a bunch of G. I got some GI Joes too. I got a uh, Croc Master. I got Spirit and Freedom, Freedom, huh? Uh, and I got a uh, Storm Shadow, and one of the Cobra officers, I think. And all right, that's it. I think. I think that's all I got. But Great the biggest info. thing I got in. Well, the biggest thing I got. Well, no, no, I got the biggest thing in. I got today. I really like. I showed y'all. Um. I picked up the New Age Lucky Draw Ultra Magnus. It's the red one, the spores, whatever you want to call it. Hate Plague. Yeah, Hate Plague. There you go. There you go. Hate Plague. And I picked that up, and I'm so – it's so awesome. My God, it's all clear plastic red. And into, I'm, I'm, I'm going to transform it. I'm, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to, I'm going to be scared to do it, but it looks good. I mean, I love it. I'm, I'm excited. Right, I'm, so. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you got that's it. That's it. Thank you. Like That's I said, it. every Pretty time cool at the day job when they have Jolly Ranchers and shit like that, <laughs> all I think about is Matthew and all yeah. of his Lucky Draw Transformers, especially when the grape ones pop up. It's like, it's Insecticons. <laughs> Should it be in this diabetic uh, my feet? This looks like a straight uh, a Jolly Rancher, man. Mm. Mm. I mean, I can't wait to take some pictures and stuff. Anyways, uh-huh. that's all I got. What you? Uh, we are, are you excited? Are you already said what you? Oh, okay. I, did, I did get one more uh, thing. I, did, I do want to give a shout out to Tony Elwood. He was a guest on our show uh, a couple of shows ago, a few shows ago. Um, he did. He was like, "Yeah, you know, are you looking for anything?" I was like, "Yeah, I was looking for a Snapdragon." He hooked me up with a Snapdragon and a Astro Train um, from the Siege um, line. Siege. Oh, okay. And um, I can't think of enough. He didn't charge me anything, so you know that's why I'm paying it forward with. The Diaclone Amazon bit to Justin, the guy who never complains, mm-hmm. never makes a fuss, who's always been so faithful. To, I mean, that's the least we could do for you, Justin. I'm going to start um, fussing now, though. No, no, you, no, you ain't, bitch. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, it was really cool of him. All I got to do now is take my sweet time and hunt down an ape face from the siege line for a decent price. And I will have my horror cons again because I did sell them a while ago back when things weren't that great um, money-wise. So I sold a lot of my shit back then. So I'm slowly kind of building oh, it back up. Oh, I got one more thing. I'm sorry. I got the okay. um, um, this is from Mechanic Toy, uh, Mechanic Toys or Mechanic Studios. I got the uh, Steampunk um, or the Hearts of Steel Bumblebee. Yeah, I, okay. I forgot I this was. was a, I didn't know this was a. Uh, I didn't know. I forgot Hot Toys made this too. So I'm this might be a knockoff of the Hot Toys one or something. Uh, they, they did MM, a, didn't MMC do a Hearts of Steel? Yeah, they did a line, but this is kind of like a, this is a smaller version. This I thought this was Legends, but it actually could go with your chug. To be honest, it, it was kind of bigger than I thought it would be. But uh, MMC, yeah, they did a line. They did remember they did the Shockwave, that big old boat, and they did uh, mm-hmm. Starscream and the the old they time. Did the Seekers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I got him. Um, I like him. Uh, they did a Thomas the Train one. I'm going to order him. He looks pretty cool. And uh, but I, I forgot that uh, you know I think Hot Soldiers or was, yeah was it Hot Soldiers? Yeah, I think, I think it was Hot that. Soldiers, man. They did. They did this little version. So I, I guess this was a knockoff. I didn't know it was a knockoff, but Who gives I mean, it's a kind of, shit. It's a you love different. it. It's great. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I, I don't think it's a knockoff. It's got some different paint and stuff. And anyway, his name is Wasp and everything. Um, I did a review for him too. If you want to go check it out, but I gotta promote myself. So and yeah, that's all I got, man. Let's I did a shit. I did a shit ton of drawings over the last few weeks to make up for the year and change. I didn't have any drawings out. Yeah, you did. A uh, shit ton of fun. Oh, my God, dude. That's a lot. Like, I, I was looking through, like, all my uploads on my Instagram. I was like, wow, dude, that's a. Hey, did you get Sludge yet, Oscar? I have not gotten Sludge yet. I haven't gotten a hit to notice that he dropped. Oh, but no. I've looked up all the fixes, um, so it seems pretty easy, um, especially with the knees. I got a good one. I got good, I'm almost fine. I, I, that's I think great. I got a good one. So. I hope I get I a good one. I think it's because of the heat, man. I think it was the, the, little, the little things inside the knees, the little – 
things were, I think, uh, got expanded or something because of the heat. Mm -hmm. And I think that might have caused a lot of people are thinking that's what happened. That reminds me of another thing I got was a non-F upgrade set for for Slag. So oh, nice. he has he has red the horns, sword. Mm, the sword yeah, and red horns. I, I didn't one. switch out the face. I like the red face, so yeah. I'm keeping the face red. But now now he has red horns, like his uh, Power of the Primes version of him that I got. Yeah, so, I got that. I got that. I got that uh, add-on kit too as well. Yeah, so I got I picked that up, and I was I'm really happy with it. He looks great. Um, it was a lot of fun. Had to crazy glue the things closed because when you you know put them, just put them together and install them, they kind of split near the top. So I did have to like crazy glue that on there. And all that stuff. So that was fun. Um, so yeah, that's all uh, okay. I got. Um, so let's get started on our SDCC weekend that we had. A, a lot of reveals, man. I mean, fuck. If you're into Marvel Legends, um, you know, a lot of trailers were dropped. And speaking of trailers, we have the new Transformers series called Transformers Earth Spark. That trailer dropped. I've never seen it yet. So you guys have seen it? Yeah, I watched it before. The I didn't watch it. I, I didn't watch it. You didn't see it, but no, I didn't know they dropped the trailer. Yeah, okay. so I, I know they like, dropped the toys. It's interesting. So I don't know what route they're gonna go with this. Like, so the trailer is this boy and a girl, like an older brother and a younger sister, and they're riding bikes. I guess the boy's going somewhere, and the young girl's chasing after him, and says, you know, a bunch of stuff about like how we always hung out. So there's like this like inner family drama that's happening, um, clearly, and then. Some cars are coming down the road as they're fixing a bike in the middle of the road, which is, you know, why you'd fix why a bike in the road. I don't oh, know, whatever. But be? then behind oh, them, there's some kind of spider-type robot things, and they jump off a bridge <laughs> and go down this huge hill that nobody ends up breaking any legs or anything for. Um, and they find <laughs> a cave that's glowing, and they go in the cave, and there's nothing there until the girl drops the rock, and it apparently crumbles and gives way to some chamber below them insert said MacGuffin. i assume here where they touch some kind of crystal and they get some kind of glove thing and two transformers appear in the water and they're like well we're like connected to them and like the trailer shows they're like you're a transformer like they somehow know that already but uh i guess somehow this this MacGuffin thing has instilled them with knowledge of these characters i don't know it seems like they're like protoforms, and like I, you get virtually nothing out of the trailer, and uh, I don't know if I'm super excited about it currently. I don't, I don't really know. So, yeah. I kind of felt the same about Cyberverse, but then like after the first season, I want to say like the second and third were really good. Yeah, like they took the story a lot. They took the story a lot more serious, and it was still kid friendly. Like my nephew would watch it with me. Yeah. But it was still like the story was engaging enough to have me be like, oh, that's a pretty good take on these characters. And, you know, and, and it was one of the first times that we saw Sound Blaster because my nephew, you know, there was like, that's that Soundwave. Yeah. But he's a different color. I'm like, yeah, it's his name's Sound Blaster. My nephew just looks at me and goes, well, that's that's pretty freaking original. Like, <laughs> <clears throat> they didn't think hard on that one, Uncle Oscar. I'm like, yeah, no shit, bud. And then he said no shit. And then my sister's mad. <sighs> but yeah, um, I, I I'll definitely give it a chance when it comes out. Like I'm not gonna write it off. I'll say the trailer didn't do much to make you feel super excited about the show. Um, at least in my opinion, you guys are you know maybe you'll see and you'll be like, what are you talking about? But to me, it wasn't that exciting of a trailer. Um, it looks very much in the style. I don't I don't know if you're familiar with it, Matt, but that TMNT show that they did where it was like uh, twenty twelve. Yeah, like the 3D animation type thing. Like it looks kind of in that visual style and stuff like that. So I don't know. It could be good. Um, the trailer doesn't make me feel like it's amazing, but we'll see. So. Well, I mean, what I am getting a lot of. Yeah, I am getting a lot of 2012 TMNT. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like a fusion of Transformers Prime mm -hmm. with. Transformers animated with the body styles and yeah, stuff like that. To an extent, yeah, I can see it. Um, I so, like the new voice of Optimus Prime. There is a was... shrapnel, you know, yes, so we yeah. classic so, characters. I, I will say from outside the tra – so there's a trailer or, like, sneak preview, and then there's, like, a little – like, they kind of repeat what they just showed you in, like, 30 seconds with some little drops of, like, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime and things like that. And uh, Bombshell, I think, shows up in there. Um yeah, so, like, I mean, like, it's cool, like, 
they're recognizable transformers. I just I'm not sure about the story or anything or what the plan is. The small town's called Witwicky. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Um, That's I like, I like a good I like voice some in, fan service like that. I like yeah, the guy voice and the guy voice in the Optimus Prime, I like him. He was in he was actually in one of the Bayverse movies. He's been in a lot of movies actually. Alan Tudyk? 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 I forgot how to say it, but he's really cool. Um, I've seen some of the toys, man. Uh, that chin on Optimus Prime, I don't know about that, but um, well, we'll get there. We're gonna look at the Earth first. Oh, we're gonna get there. Like oh, man, I already jumped there, man. Well, don't, don't, don't tell me what to do, Justin. I'm not telling. No, they got some new ones. where we're going. They got some new. Um, they got some new characters. Look pretty cool. Will Jack looked definitely like he's from Prime. Um, man, they showed Will Jack. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they showed. Uh, is that Bombshell? You said. I think. Uh, yeah, Bombshell. Yeah. He's the Beatle. I hope they get. I hope they show all the Insecticons. I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I mean, it's on Paramount Plus. I, I mean, I have it. I might as well watch it. It's, you know. I'll give it a shot. I mean, we don't know. It's one kind of those no knockers. Rescue tries. bots. It's kind of like a rescue boss kind of thing going on. Let's see how kid friendly it is, because that was like my beef with the first season of Cyberverse. They tried to really focus a lot on. There you go, Cyberverse. That's what it reminds me of. It, they focus, try to focus a lot on it being sellable to children. And then season two, like, I don't know what happens. I was like, man, fuck this shit. Let's get serious with it. And they just, you know, they changed up the story. And even though, you know, I when was Bumblebee, I think Bumblebee was still using Radio Talk. It was like a throwback to the Bayverse films. And then he just got his voice back and started talking and whatever. We'll, we'll see what happens. If they've used this fall on Paramount Plus. Um you know, ten bucks a month service. I actually picked that up yesterday because I wanted to watch the Beavis and Butthead do the Universe film, and that was kind of fucking disappointing. Um, Not as good as Do America, that's for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't still know. enjoyed it, but it was no Do America. Yeah, um, there were a few parts that had me laugh out loud, but the rest of it, like I love Smart Beavis and Butthead. Yes. No. Smart Beavis and Butthead were probably the best part. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so, so, that's elementary jokes. So, oh yes, yes, and troll, yes, yes, troll. <laughs> it's wrong. All right, so let's get started on Toy Line, Earthspark Toy Line. Here, uh, these are I'm gonna, <laughs> these, yeah, these, these are made. Matt, do you know so, if there's any other extra links? Because these are the only kind of ones that I, I saw when I was quickly going through. Um, the first link are kind of like some product shots, but they only show a handful, and then they get onto like the super cheap, like. This does a yep. flip and it transforms like. Okay. Yeah, you got the finger banging ones, man. Yeah. I don't know. That's for, the, <laughs> that's for her pleasure. Uh-huh. I mean, so I'll I, say I this. I don't know what I, they were thinking on some of this. I stuff. will say this: this bumblebee looks good. I'm yeah. sure he's gonna feel like I shit. Like, um... But he looks good aesthetically. Like I already could tell. Like the bottom of those forms are fucking hollow, and then the legs looks complete, but they're not showing up from the back. But the one I'm the most excited about is is Megatron, because it does take a. It's I feel like I'm looking at the Titans Return Megatron, where he was the triple changer, mm-hmm. you know, basically fucking Blitzwing before Blitzwing came out, like they did with Prime and Motormaster, um, and he looks pretty cool. But I know for a fact, looking at these robots and their design, or there's already Waffle City. And the fact that this Megatron transforms into what I hope is a Cybertronian jet of some kind and not a helicopter. Like a helicopter. It kind of looks like a hot brow. You think so? Uh, I hope yeah, not. he's got he's got propellers. You can see on the back of him, he's got propellers. Yeah, I think I think we might. Do we see him in the next link? I'm not sure. Yeah, the next link you can see him in uh, alt mode. Exactly. He, he kind of looks like the uh, Bayverse uh, helicopters that were in uh, Age of Extinction, or I'm sorry, Dark of the Moon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. I like the, the first voice. one. What's the what's the guy with the he turns into kind of like a little drone? I like him. He's probably my favorite one out of all of them, to be honest. It's called Terrain, Terrain Twitch. 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 I like Twitch. I love his alt mode. It kind of looks like like remember when uh, I was talking about it, it looks like um Armada laser beak. He turned into that video camera. Mm-hmm. So this kind of looks like that, but he's got the drone thing going on. I, that's he was the most interesting one to me. I thought he looks pretty cool. That looks pretty neat, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do kind of dig that. Um, yeah, then there's the most disappointing one in the whole wave is Optimus Prime. Like, Yeah, that shit. I think they, they cut corners where they could because of this class that he is, warrior class, you know, the Lux. Um, their version of the Lux with this. So I understand, but ain't, oh boy, that is ugly. 
I think the toys, yeah, just like you were talking about, I think the toys are going to feel cheap. Yeah. Uh, I'm, just, it's just, I am by... I didn't buy any of the Cyberverse figures. I mean, I bought a Soundwave because he had that cool truck mode, and that was not a bad figure. Um, but this, some of the Cyberverse this, were pretty good, actually. To be honest. I love the, I like the Soundwave. Came man. with blast effects. Starscream came with the like the missile effects, and I yeah, that's if awesome. you bought the the deluxe, the deluxe the, yeah. class, the deluxe pack of the ones where you build McAdams. I think that's the Soundwave yeah. I purchased was that one because he had the blast yeah. effects, and he came with a little laser beak, and yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. The Lita one looks fucking atrocious. Um, yeah, that's. I don't that's know. Bad. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to her legacy. I'm picking that version of her up. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. This, this is crap. And then of course they have the the Seekers, which are just repainted from the Cyberverse Cyberverse yeah. line, which that's cool, I guess, because we only got Star Screams, um, and we got like some weird clear plastic versions of these guys in a six, weird six pack. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the finger bangers, as you call them. <laughs> mm. Ripped for her pleasure. Yep. And then one-step flip changers, of course. Yeah. Uh, what is Shampoo that? Shampoo bottle. Shampoo bottles. Yep. And then spin changers. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be very... If I do, I'm definitely going to get the uh, the one I was talking about, Twitch or whatever. I'm going to get him, but I'm going to be very... Or her, or whatever. Um, I'm going to be very selective if I get any of this line. It just... Like I said, Cyberverse was really, I mean, they had some really good ones. Um, but I don't know about this line. I, I, it looks, like you said, just yeah. kind of looks cheap. Yeah, and yeah, now the second link. They're super kidified, you know. They are, and, and that's who they're aimed for. But they're, yeah, to, that's who they're aimed for. They're not I, I, legacy. And I get that. I just feel like, I don't know, you should appeal to both sets of fans. And, like, like when I look at some of this stuff, like that, that Twitch and, like, how hollow it is, like, sometimes... It's kind of like, do I really want like my kid to play with something that is that hollow and stuff that looks like it could break really easily? Like, I don't know. So, yeah. Your kid should be so lucky to play with this stuff. I know, I know. Golly. Well, I'm looking at that alt mode for Megatron. That looks pretty beast. That it is looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. I think I may pick up the Megatron. Once he's available, um, <clears throat> he'll be in alt mode forever. Uh, although I do like the the figure, the robot mode also. That looks pretty dope. Yeah, um, robot mode. I think bad. I think I need Super Chinatron. I mean Optimus. It's like the Jay Leno of Transformers. And this mm-hmm. Bumblebee looks again. The Bumblebee aesthetically looks all right, but I think the hollowness is what's gonna kill me. You know, and I'll regret buying it. It's like when I bought the Cyberverse. Oh, that Prime is not ugly. Wow, it's, it, they're gonna weigh. I mean, you, it's gonna feel like Family Dollar or Dollar Tree kind of plastic, probably. Mm-hmm. The old robot converting line. I'll say. I mean, I, I, I talk shit now, but I, I mean, you know what? If I get them in hand, I probably I'm gonna be like, man, I love these things. And it's gonna be like this is the best thing ever. Best ever. And what I will give them credit is the human villains. They're making figures of them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome, also. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool to see that the the humans kind of playing a role in there because like that's one thing that i do wish some lines did is like like intro like if the humans are such an in- integral part to the show why not have a human figure to go along with these things yeah you know? i mean the last time they tried that was with that god awful ugly as fuck kicker figure for armada and it stopped there thankfully oh, uh, oh the energy one that was a good one man i have i use him for a uh, scale um Dude, I'm just well. You know what? But you know we're so spoiled that at least we're getting Transformer, another Transformer uh, series. Mm-hmm. You know we're you know we're going on almost forty years, man, and we're still getting new stuff. And uh, we just we don't really. I know we want to sit here and and you know critique and bitch about some stuff and love of some course. stuff, but we just you got to sit back and be like. You know, this thing has been around. I mean, you know, there's not there's not a whole lot of, you know, series that last like you got Star Wars, you know, you got, you know, other stuff, Turtles and everything. But, you know, Transformers is almost 40 years old and we're still getting new stuff. Well, look, we're getting a new movie. I mean, well, that's well, awesome. Look, look at how old G.I. Joe is. It's old. Yeah. And they're now coming into this new renaissance, which I'm so excited for. I'm glad the classified series is doing tour? Oh. I did. That looks fucking beautiful. Oh, man. Not a big I, fan of the Serpentor character, per se. But I think it looks great. I would love for them to do a Cobra Commander from the season three. I want to say GI Joe show with the with the oh, oxygen man. mask. Oh yeah, I, would, I I want them to do the uh, the uh, steel um, 
the uh, steel suit, whatever. What was it called? The um, the silver one. The uh, yeah, the Real silver American one. Heroes one. Yeah, I want that's that. That's the one, one I'm talking about. He has like the oxygen mask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. He got the. Yeah. It's a. Okay. That's a good. And one. he turned him back into a snake. Mm-hmm. Dude, I got I got Mind Bender. I actually got a pre-order for him. Dude, the Classified series, man. There, that's one. It's an awesome line, dude. They're, man. GI Joe, if you're a GI Joe fan, that's a good line to get into. Man, I'm looking at the back of this Bumblebee's legs, uh, image 49, and I like how everything kind of tucks in neatly here. It's not too hollow, you know, like I thought it was going to be, but I like how things fold neatly. You know, I'm not saying this is a great figure, but I don't know. I, I may jump on this guy too. Um, mm. But I am looking forward to that Megatron. You know, he has a faux chest, which is understandable. But, damn, that's one ugly fucking Optimus Prime, dude. Wow. Mm-hmm. Look at that face. That chin. that chin goes on for ages. Yes, it does. Jay Leno. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm looking at the image of him with the uh, the male lead character on his shoulder. Um, so it's just like they, they took well, a, it, it looks like they made the face and they're like, oh, fuck, this is Optimus Prime. Quick, just slap some fucking epoxy. Oh, there we go. We're good. Well, animated, animated had a big chin too as well. Yeah, but it 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 actually fit more with with the aesthetic, with the streamlined design they were going for for that show. You know, so it, it wasn't as up, up front. And he his mouth was exposed most of the time in the cartoon. The mask only came up for battle. This literally looks like well, the, the big figure anyway looks like part of the gimmick should be like you hit a little lever in the back of his head and the mouth moves. But this, that's one ugly face from an Optimus Prime figure. Oof, Jesus Christ. That's like, that face mask is like 60% of his face. Uh-huh. He's more face mask than he is robot. Yeah. Like, we get it. We get it. We're a myth. Be careful. Yeah. But yeah, the, the villain character looks pretty neat. Uh, he looks super fucking hollow. I hope he doesn't transform or anything like that. Um, yeah, the, the little character figures look pretty awesome, too. Um... Yeah, so like I said, I'll wait till the show debuts, give it a shot, and maybe pick up a Megatron, maybe a Mobile Bee. I'll wait for the reviews in this terrain, whatever its name is. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely check out the show. I don't know if the toys will get me at all, but uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. So we you know, took care of that. Um. Icon Heroes line. So is this like an official licensed Transformer product or? Yep, would have to be. Yeah, they got all about symbols on them. Oh yeah, I talked about that. Oh, that's cool. You got a, little, a Unicron head. That's cool. Is it a pencil holder? It looks like a pencil holder. Yeah, it is. Dude, I'm picking it up for work. Oh yeah, these are the. Yeah, okay, I remember what these are. Yeah. And yeah, the statue's Optimus is $125. God, dope. Oh, damn, you got your goddamn mind for someone with a big ass head like that. I like the book in shelves, though. That's pretty cool, but I really don't really need that. Oh, yeah, the book and shelves. Yeah, those look cool. I think they came with, the, I think there's a mouse pad or something. And some are those cufflinks? On image uh, I think those are just uh, pins, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, Power Ranger fans everywhere. You get a Green Ranger a pen holder. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what do you think, Justin? Um, it's just not really my my type of thing, I guess. I mean, you could shove a pen in one of Unicron's eyes. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah, fun. The little Optimus Prime statue looks cute. I'm not a big fan of the super deformed head. Yeah, okay. That was pretty cool. Uh, that's all... But was it really, though? No, it really wasn't. It was. Th- these are pretty fucking... <laughs> that's kind of underwhelming. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm whelmed. But now I, on... I am super whelmed. To what we were talking about before the show. It is the legacy reveal. I'm excited for these reveals. Oh, yeah. This is way three, I think. So let's get it going. We're going to get a Voyager class Armada Starscream, which is pretty cool. Oh, um, really based on the Armada. On the Armada. Armada I can't say them. The Armada. Um, Armada toy. Because um, oh, yeah. he, he had red legs in that toy, didn't he? Yeah. 
red thighs, I mean, anyway. But then we have Point Blank, who's finally getting a resurgence. Um, it's actually a Blanker. They call him Blanker now. I guess I lost the name. <laughs> yeah, the copyrights of Point Blank. Um, and he gets uh, a target master, too. Yeah, he has That's a target cool. master like his boy. Uh, oh, God damn it. He's on my shelf, for the love of mercy. I forgot his name. The, the remold of Ironhide. Um, Which one? Oh, uh, man. He was a he's a basic repaint with a different head sculpt, dude. Oh, my God. I can't remember. I said it, Dorm, before the show started. You think I'd write this shit? Oh, is the blue and red one you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Oh, that's... um. Crosswise. There we go. Yeah. Um, we have cramp case. He's getting a, that's an old new mold. Mold? No, that's a that's a skids. Is it skids? Yeah, yeah. you look at the legs. Oh, yep, and stuff. yep, look at him feet. Yep. Well, you need leg fillers. You can order them online. Yeah. Um, and of course, the third. Uh, well, he'll be the fourth. Yeah, fourth. Addition to wow. Mandasaur Dead End, which it looks okay. It looks a lot better than his Combiner Wars predecessor. Um, kind of looks like an update of Combiner Wars. Yeah. Yep, it kind of it kind of does. We'll see better photos of them. Then, of course, we have uh, a lot of Beast Wars fans are clamoring. Oh. Trans Metal to Megatron, the Dragon Megatron. Um, Yay. And then the one I'm really excited for, besides Point Blank or Blanker, is Skullgrin, which seems yeah. to be a whole new mold. Yeah, uh, that's a new mold, I think. Which is really cool because he does have the Pretender head. Mm-hmm. And he's got this whole onslaught vibe going on with him with those two cannons in the back. Oh, I would love for them to take a stab at modern day uh, Combaticons. I mean, I love their Combiner Wars figure line, but I would love to have a better take on onslaught. And then. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. And then, last but not least, Beast Wars fans everywhere excited because you get. I think he's going to be Voyager class Inferno from Beast Wars. For the, For the Queen. World. Yeah. So, yeah, so this he, he honestly is one of my favorite cool. Beast Wars characters. Yep. Now, what I'm really excited about the Armada Star Scream is a they're gonna do you know they're gonna do this. I hope they do a Super Star Scream, which is basically Thundercracker, right? Mm-hmm. It's the blue paint with the red face, but it's still Thundercracker. That's what they call them on the on the toy line. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm really liking this. I love the Thrilling Thirty version of him. I thought that was really cool. I thought he was a fun figure. Um, and they did do uh, the blue take on him, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, it was a it was a, a overseas kind of a Takara one. Yeah, so they did do the blue run on him. So I, I hope they do that with this line too, as part of the legacy uh, generation selects and oh, they Blanker. Will. They will. Come on, they'll get all the recolors out of him. Yep, and Blanker looks really fucking dope. Although I'm looking at his legs, I you don't have a waist. Things, <laughs> yeah, that's the, well, this is the two things I was worried about. One, he doesn't have a waist. It's just a cod piece with two little things sticking out. And to the legs, they look like they're going to be hollow. Oh, on the back, yeah, you can tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they they fold over. Which... Just because of transformation, you can see the you can see the waffles in the thighs too as well. Yep, which is Murph. It's all right, man. Third man, dude. Whenever a new legacy or anything Hasbro mainline comes out, man, third party just starts licking their chops like, oh my god, look at all the oh. fillers we got. This and they're like, how can we fix this? This is disgusting. <laughs> Oh, two to three D printer. Especially crankcase, man. Crankcase got the skids legs, so you know there's a lot of you can see the hollowness in that one. Yeah, but I still think it looks pretty cool because I've never really oh, owned yeah. a crankcase. Yeah. Like the the option was there for remember you know uh, Mach Five. One of the recolors was a crankcase. Um, was it? Oh. You remember that? Yeah, it was a crankcase, dude. Um, and, that's, and then they started doing like a. Uh, CAD renders of like a lot of popular Autobots like Ironhide and Ratchet. In that mold, and I was like, "Oh God!" But yeah, I think this is gonna be dope, dope, especially if you're collecting your scavenger set from the IDW comics. You'll be a good, inclu- you know, inclusion. Mm-hmm. Scavenger um, looks good. Oh, uh, we're good. We're also getting that two pack of uh, Alpha Tron and a Ron Pax. Yeah, that looks really good. I I, I like their the molds. And what I don't understand is why they're giving all Ron Pax uh, the cup, you know, the Energon goodie stuff like. They should just let that, that shit out. Does, yeah, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Right. Like, I know Orion Pax has always been a recolor of Cup. Yeah. Uh, from the G1 days. I think he was a, what was he, an e-hobby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I understand that. I love that you got Vector Sigma. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and I cool. think, I didn't see it coming. I should have seen it coming. A lot of people were talking about it on Facebook. They are, they recolored 
They retooled the Scourge mode mold. So they retooled it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, new head sculpt. Yeah, new head sculpt. Uh, it's technically a retool to be Alpha Tron, which I think is cool. Um, yeah. I like how they, <clears throat> I like how they did the back of it, like, like make it look like a cape or something kind of. A yep. Thing okay. going on, but they don't give him the blast effect. They they don't give him the scourge blast effect. They should have. I don't know that. why he even has a gun, dude. He never <laughs> fought in the fucking show. Yeah, that is true. That is so. Yeah, that is true. You know, but I love that Orion Pax. I think it's yeah. great, and you know, I I will, you know, I I do kind of like the what was it Titans the Thrilling Thirty, was it Thrilling Thirty, or Titans Returns. One? For the for cup, Fox. that was a that was studio series. This is a studio series one. Yeah, but yeah, that, that Orion <laughs> Pax looks fucking dope. I wish he came with a little bit like a battle damage swap out, you know. I think that I think the the cup mold is great, except for the head sculpt, and they replaced the head, so now this is going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. So looks good. I like both of them. Yeah, I think the vector stigma looks really cool. You know, it's just a ball, but you know, you get the little key and you can insert it into the ball. That's awesome. Yep, that's a great two pack. <clears throat> yep, great two pack. Definitely worth picking up. Um, and the alt mode for for Alpha Triumph looks fucking great. You know. Yeah, I like the colors, the purple mm -hmm. and kind of a maroon. It all pops I guess, very well. Dude, that's but that going back to the other ones, man. That Skullgrin looks so freaking awesome, dude. I can't wait for him. Yeah, I like yeah, Skullgrin a lot too. He's always one what? of the cooler pretenders. I feel like. Yeah, I like, and they showed the alt mode too, or they showed the back of the box, and it does look like the little Cybertronian tank that the uh, little uh, inner shell or inner robot turns into. Mm -hmm. So that's a I good nod. I love the detail on the face, and I hope mm -hmm. it's a start of showing, and, and, and this is what I always kind of wanted from the main line to not focus on, but occasionally do is pop up that obscure character, right? Like, give us a new Metal Hawk on the next wave after this one. Mm -hmm. Do an Octopunch, you know what I mean? Like, do do obscure characters that haven't gotten the classics treatment in, like, forever. Yeah, I think if you do that, like, you could very potentially um, just make some really interesting <laughs> overall characters and toys that people haven't seen. And, like, especially now, like, you could definitely make that type of stuff happen. Um, probably easier than... than any other thing you could do you just kind of have almost free reign except for the head right so <laughs> mm -hmm. well, i hope they uh, now hope they go back and upscale iguanas because that was probably the, it is the best uh, core class they got was iguanas i'm kind of hoping they upscale him to be a deluxe as well i i actually picked him up for my nephew alex who's slowly getting into transformers um like that's a fun uncle. that's a fun one he likes the sky warp so he wants more of the jets so i gotta hunt down that core class starscream but um, I picked up Iguanas. At first, he was like, I don't, I don't understand. But then he saw, like, you know, we um, we do watch how to transform videos. Um, so he watches it, and, you know, it's just funny because he's six. So he's like, he'll watch it, and he'll tap my phone. Wait, I got to catch up, you know. And But he thought in the end it was pretty cool that it's a motorcycle, and Skywarp can ride the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. He pretends yep. to anyway. But he thinks it's really cool. Um, so I, I, I just really hope, because, like, the last time a pretender got any love at all was during the Power of the Primes. And they were just, like, shell casings. Oh, a little small. They transformed uh, into guns, right? Yeah, they transformed into, into into weapons. But that's not what they were. And this skull grin is fucking fire right here. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, probably, it, it's probably the most unique take on... Uh, uh, you know, a nice modern take on a character. Yep, I agree. Oh yeah. I really want to see have... um really uh do these types of characters. I think there's so much potential in them, especially the the Decepticon side. I don't think the the Autobot side is quite as interesting. But no, they were just big human robot things. Exactly, but definitely, no. definitely the Decepticon side. Now, now, my concern with Skullgrin is, because I'm looking at his all mode, and I'm like, man, if that turret pops off, this is going to be our tarn for the main line. Yeah, I could see that. You know, I see customizers already licking their chops going, oh, I'm just going to print his head, pop off that head, and now I got tarn. And, you know, and, 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 and it'll be genius, but I, I, I see us getting cheated out of, like, a possible leader tarn and... You know what I mean? Because that, that figure alone, that character They is... already announced Tarn already. We're getting a Tarn. Yeah, but is he going to be like leader class or is he going to be deluxe yeah, class? Yeah, I think, so. I think it's, it's either Forager or leader. One yeah, so it's not beyond them to be able to upscale like this. But I love the salt mode. I think it's fucking dope. 
Um, I love the gun slash knife uh, mm-hmm. angle they're going with his weapons. Um, it's all one mold. Unfortunately, you can't, you know, pop it off and make it a, bl- a sword and shit like that. But I, th- I think it's going to look good. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in on the star screen. I'm definitely, you know, I know you, but I'm definitely in on the star screen crank case and skull green on this wave. And definitely in, I'm definitely in on the whole wave. I can see that they didn't put the flap underneath the hands, so there's going to be a big gap under there. So I wish, I mean, sometimes Hasbro did it. No, they did it with G axis. They actually, you know, made a little flap and opened it and put it. I wish they do that on all of them because it's just a little piece of plastic. I mean, it wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, it makes it, it makes a big difference, you know, to not, not have a big gapping hole in your forearm. It does. It makes the figure yeah. feel like even even if nothing is changed except for that little like flap of material, it just makes it feel like so much more high quality, basically. Yeah, it acts like they actually care. You know, yeah. they put a little love into it because that, like, like we I said, want our to look good. A GX is just so good, and if that would have, you know, it wouldn't have ruined the figure if they didn't do that, but it just makes it so much. You know, you appreciate like how okay somebody actually cares. You know, yeah, cared enough to do that for sure. And I mean, they, there's so many times that it just they could have just put that little flap right there, and it would have just covered it up, and you you know you go on. Because it's not going to change the transformation at all. I mean, you just I mean, it's, it's you know if you don't if you you know put it on there, it's not going to do anything. It just makes it look better. So I don't know, but you know, Hasbro, Hasbro's Hasbro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That point blank looks like he's gonna have some empty forearms too. The way he's positioning that photo, I'm, I'm, I should not. I'm gonna stop talking. I don't want to be disappointed by him. <laughs> <clears throat> that sucks because I really want my G1 Target Masters. You know, on a modern take, the last time they were made available in that in that capacity was with the Maki Toys MP versions of them, and that guy goes for like. Oh, that's only one. There's only like they only did one of them. Yeah. Uh. So. This 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 breaks the habit, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to find his target master in a repaint somewhere. Um, exactly. Yeah. So Wonderfest, Flames Toys, the leaders of the cake. Oh, <laughs> I'm not that. I mean, they, they are shit. right. So. <laughs> there they are true. Kuri Katakuri is KKK. <laughs> Damn. Um. All right. So going down here, these are impressive. These are the, the solid. These are the, yeah, these are not. These are not the uh, model kits. These are yep. the. Uh, dude, that's Cyclonus, and that Starscream looks so good. Even the Jazz looks good. I don't know about that. Like Jazz, just you know. What? Able, mm, I don't know. He's not hitting it. Yeah, he I looks feel skinny. Like he he, he kind of looks skinny. He does look a little skinny. You look like, like, yeah, I like he it. misses I some like of it. the the cues of Jazz that I feel are. Important to me, mm-hmm. but that's Cyclonus, man. Ooh, I like him. Daddy likes that. He's Daddy. like he has a very slender waist. That's why I think kills it for me for that jazz. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, he looks malnourished. Like I want to feed him. <laughs> it's okay, but yeah, he takes takes a pun. Takes a pun. And it's like a lot of their photos show him with the doors attached to his forearms, which makes no sense to me. Um, that looks fucking dumb. And then if you don't, and you don't have to keep the doors there, but now you got two ugly holes looking at you. Hey, Oscar, I'm gonna get that star screen. Hey, I might jump on him, but they make a thundercracker out of it. No, you need to get star screen. Fuck thundercracker. No, 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 I need thunder- Fuck you. thundercracker. Man. Fuck star screen, the most overrated fucking Look, guy. He never got the job Fish done. Please. You know who overrated? Point blank, man. Point blank's overrated. He sure is. That's Fuck why he probably looks blank. like shit in this legacy line photo. Look at this star screen, man. God. That's Neo. Jet power armor. What on earth is that from, man? Uh, the Bayverse. Bay is it? Jesus. Yeah, it's supposed to. Well, it's it's not exactly what the Bayverse one is. This is kind of man. Look at them '80s women working shoulder pads. Jesus. Um, <laughs> this is their take. This is more of a stylized, but it's off the Jetfire and Optimus Prime combining. I'm a receptionist in a high end law firm. I just started here. <laughs> That it's is 1986. Of, I just want to party up and do it my way. I'm an independent that is a woman. Lot of stuff, man. Golly, that's gonna be so back heavy. That is. That is. You're gonna need that stand because he ain't gonna fucking do that oh, on yeah, his own. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna need that stand. Yeah. Jeez, look at all that. 
Well, I'm not in. I'm not getting that one. But um, definitely getting Starscream. Um, I do like that Cyclonus. I'm really intrigued about that. So the IDW Cyclonus looks pretty good. It um, looks a little overboard. Really? I kind of do. I feel like it, it looks a little overboard, man. I mean, it looks simplistic, really. To me. I mean, he's got the shoulder pads, but I think he looks, you know, there's a lot of pointy stuff going on. You got the feet, and you got the forearms, yeah, got like, points, and then the back has points. It's like, it doesn't okay. need that shit. Like, that's, I mean, I take it they took liberties with the design. And, and then, like, there's that poster behind him that shows his gun. And it's like, I look at it, and I'm like, these motherfuckers took the Combiner Wars Superion gun. No, it does look. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you're going to charge $400 motherfucking dollars and your ass gave them pointy sh- elf shoes and bit. Combiner Wars Superion gun that separates. So one part well, of the shoe. The pointy shoes, I think that the whole line has been kind of like that, I think. I, well, no, um, Iron Factory, they're, they're, they've they been doing the pointy f- shoes, but yeah, it does look like the Combiner, uh, Silver Bolts uh, Combiner War gun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, lazy ass motherfucker but I like it. It looks pretty good. Uh, I think it, it looks. I think it looks good. I'm, I'm definitely yeah. in for Star Scream, but I Here they're may get the Cyclonus. Showing their Star Saber and Victory Leo combine combined mode, which remember was that the one that fell apart or something? What yeah, it's the one that Robert said was absolute shit, and everyone okay. was saying theirs was falling apart. Um, because okay. he doesn't stay connected that well, so you put him on Star Saber and leave him on Star Saber and. Then he looks like a fucking lawsuit waiting to happen with Go Gygar when he's in combined form. And I say it looks impressive. I mean, it, if you just leave it there and don't touch it, it looks. I mean, it looks impressive. I yeah, mean, but that's kind of the appeal with these, aren't they? Like they look really good, and you can pose them to look badass, and then you put all this crap on Star Saber. Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh, can't. Well, the can't, couple I got were kind of like torn. You know, he's a beautiful piece, but he he's starting to fall apart. You know, some of the stuff are falling apart. Uh, Drift was kind of like that too, as well. Um, really? So they don't they haven't been holding up over time? Not mine. I don't know about everybody else's, but mine have been. I haven't messed my. Own, I haven't messed around. I, when I packed them up, I you know I started fiddling around with them a little bit, and they're just they're no three zero. I'm just saying three zero is so much better in my opinion. But um. No, they're not holding up. I mean, they're just, they look good, but they're, the materials are kind of, I don't know, kind of wonky. But then Robert said the new one he just got, the, um, oh, what was the, uh, the, the, um, which one did he get? They said it's really good. The one that has the, the, oh, what's his thing? Shoot. Kind of the black prime or whatever. Not the black prime, but, um, oh, racist. What was the, what was the um, the fallen? He just mm, got yeah, the yeah, fallen, yeah. and he said that was pretty good though. So they're kind of hit and miss with the uh, flame toys, in my opinion. Yeah, but at that price point, they shouldn't. Really no, yeah, definitely. Be, no, they, they should be holding up, and they should be yeah. nailing pretty much everything. They're so expensive. Exactly. That's why I love three zero. They're cheaper, and they're they're so much. They're built so much better. I mean. It, they're fun to mess around with to pose with you know that when i was trying to pose the um the fallen i was scared i was like yeah i'm not gonna mess with this anymore i'm gonna put that in a box and just put them up you know so <laughs> but three zero i mean i can sit there and pose those things all day long and i you know feel i don't feel worried about breaking anything at all so that's good i feel like that's how it should be mm-hmm. and they're cheaper too even better i almost there's there's been a few times when I, I've been to certain stores that sell the three zero stuff, and I almost jump on that bumblebee. <laughs> oh, I got the got. yeah. Which one? The, uh, the bumblebee movie or the? Uh... Not the bumblebee movie. Uh, the the more G one esque looking bumblebee. Oh, the smaller one. The oh, yeah. yeah, you definitely need to get that, dude. That and the prime, them are so much fun. But also, I forgot. I got the uh, deluxe one, the uh, movie uh, bumblebee. I got the gold version. I picked that up too as well, but um, oh, you need these are the smaller ones are, and I think he's only like like fifty dollars, fifty sixty bucks. He's good for Oscar. Yeah, I saw him for just for seventy, and I'm like, that's that's kind of appealing, but you know, I don't know, I'm hesitant because I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Oh, uh, well, you that's know what true. I'm saying? But and they're I want fun, dude. There's so so much posability, and they're really fun. The the paint and the sculpt is so much. Him and Optimus Prime are just freaking awesome. I know, I'll I think about it as time them, goes on after 
Uh, we get rid of this plumbing issue that we are about to drop fifty four hundred dollars on. Oh um, yeah, damn dude. Yep. The yep shitter, is the shitter backed up? <laughs> no man, no. So uh, I'll tell the quick story for everyone to listen to, and they can give me their thoughts. Um, so our water meter apparently has been leaking for the longest time, and one day um, we none of us knew. And then one day the FedEx guy who was delivering a chewy package to us is like, hey, you guys know you got like this pool of water coming over there by, I think it's your water meter. My wife looked and she called me. So we called the city. City came out. I was like, yeah, it's not on our end. It's on y'all's end. And I was like, oh, no. So we we called the plumbing company and like 400 bucks later, it got fixed. But the downside was it's been leaking for so long that this month's power bill is like almost 800 bucks. Yikes. God dang, dude. Yeah. yeah. So, dude, that sucks. Did you get any mold or anything? Because my, my sink was leaking and it was leaking for so long, I, ha- I had mold now. And it, ugh, I no, uh, that shit. Uh, it, it's been outside mostly. Um, okay. So, the one thing is that they're concerned about, I have to speak to their to their supervisor on Wednesday when he comes back from vacation because it's a that's a high dollar job. I need to know about guarantees, how long the guarantees are for. Is this six month warranty? Is it going to fly? You know, especially when I'm dropping 5,400 fucking bucks to get this problem fixed. Um, they're saying that because the house is so old, the, the, the lines and stuff like that could could be damaged also. And uh, they think it's galvanized, which means it's galvanized steel, which means it probably rusted. So could be Galvatron, it, though. No, I know, man. I know. The old Galvatron, Gal, Galvatron steel pipes. Yeah, but Galvatron steel is the best, best steel out there. Yeah, so... You know, so we're, yeah, uh, there's a lot of things we need to do and, and that we yeah. wanted to do with this house. And unfortunately, that popped up. That was not in the plan. So it kind of caught us off. Oh, that shit always happens. We're, we're, we're trying to, you know, get our house fixed up to sell and stuff. And uh, we're just finding shit sometimes left and right. It's like, fuck, really? Yeah, and it's and it's always at the moment when it's like you know, oh, I'm just going to do this and this, blah blah blah. Then suddenly, yeah, not so fast, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you know? look what we found. Look what like we, we found. Like, you know, our house inspection said uh, the house was minimally insulated, and so seventy bucks. We called the guy over. He just blew some insulation up there, which kept the house cooler during the, the summer. Mm, blew it. Um, because the AC was just constantly blowing. It'd be like seventy eight in here, and the AC set to seventy four. You know, and it's just like it, the temperatures weren't going down. Did the insulation? We fixed that problem. So one problem at a time. Um, it just yeah. it just kind of sucks with do. the problems with the house that like you get the home inspection hoping that it's going to catch that kind of stuff, and then it for it not, you're like, ah, like what did we pay for that for? You know, like <laughs> yeah. So you know, we love this house. I love this house. I, this is our house. So we're just we're just going to take care of it one problem at a time, man. That's that's all we can do. I love do. your house too, Oscar. Well, thanks, man. I like it when I've you come over. The- and- I've and bang my old lady, you son of a bitch. I've been out in the bushes. I know you've been in her bush, too. Come Whacking in. it. Whacking Fucking it. monster. No. But, hey, yeah. You live in Florida. I don't care about Florida. <laughs> I don't care about Alabama. <laughs> I'm not from Alabama, douche. Roll time. There you are. Roll time. Um, yeah, so that, that stuff comes up. So it's like, you know, it's, it's sad because when I... When I hear price figures, whether it be on someone what someone spent on a car or how much something's cost, it's like, oh, that's two hundred bucks. I'm like, man, that's like, it's like two third party combiner limbs. No, back when Hercules, now? that's just one. <laughs> now it's one. one yeah. Now it's one. But back then when Hercules was popular, I was like, that's like two. Combiner. Oh, that's like three or four. Yeah, three or four of like the Hercules. I think yeah. sixty bucks for each limb. So yeah, that's that's I don't even know how I got sidetracked talking about that, but I think it's just because of how fucking expensive everything is. Just the next couple of months are gonna be for us, and I'm I am I'm ready for it. Whatever, let's bring it. Let's do it. My body's ready. Yeah, <laughs> so is my wallet. Mm. Wallet's well, never ready, ready, but what can you do? So yeah, so yeah, we basically blew through SDCC. Do you guys want to talk about anything else from SDCC? Marvel Legends reveals. G.I. Joe Classifieds. What did you mm. find out about that, uh, Matt, when it comes to G.I. Joe Classifieds? Oh, that's good. They got Rock and Roll coming. They got a Copperhead coming. Uh, they got a, one of the Deep Diver. I forgot the name of the, the uh, Scuba. I think it's Scuba. Scuba Dave. <laughs> it's one of the Scuba Divers. They got him coming. But biggest reveal was Serpentor. Um, and they actually had, they put the Mindbender 
Um, yep. Pre-orders up. I actually got one of those, so that's they good. They announced their Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. Yep, exactly. Um, that's real but, good, but that Action Force line that you mentioned earlier, they have a Sergeant Slaughter. Mm-hmm. Yep, they do. Yep. And um, it looks pretty good. Too. I didn't get the Sergeant Slaughter. I'll, I'll probably get the one for Classified, but uh, I'm a... I kind of nitpicked with, or I kind of uh, picked and choose with the action force. I got a couple so far, but um, I didn't get the whole lines. Um, but the Spintor, I'm, I'm really excited for. He's got the glider. Oh, they did the, uh, they showed the trouble bubble too as well. So I'm excited for that as well. The trouble um, bubble. Trouble, 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 trouble bubble. The trouble bubble. Trouble. Oh, okay. Yeah, the trouble bubble. I'm surprised so they got that the trouble coming. bubble hasn't come out already. Yeah, <laughs> like it just uh, seems so obvious. They show that they show more pics of the his tank and that look. I, I went on in his tank and that looks so good, dude. Oh my gosh! Man, can I say about? Let's talk about that real quick. How fast did that shit get funding? Oh, it like a day. <laughs> it like was, it broke fucking records, man. Like holy shit! They got all four tiers taken care of, so that's good. We get the cobra. We get the cobra uh, commander uh, thing. I was hoping we get might maybe get the like the asp or something uh, to go on the back because it did. It shows a hitch. So I thought, you know, a lot of people thought we was going to get another vehicle, like a smaller one to go with mm-hmm. it, but we never did. But it's cool. Maybe uh, down the line somebody will make one, or they will. Uh, but that his tank looks, man, the lights and everything. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, if you're a big GHO fan, this is really, really cool. So I'm hoping they do some more um, vehicles. Yeah, I, I, I hope they do. I, uh... I think it's an expensive endeavor, though, to do vehicles for that particular line, given the oh, size. Oh, yeah. But, scale? yeah. They'll, yeah. Have to do, they'll have to do the, the crowdfunding thing or whatever. I don't know if they could do it. Eh, they might could do it on mainline. What I, vehicles I think they do you want to see? What, what vehicles do you want to see, and which ones do you think reasonably could actually Man, I forgot the names of them, man, <laughs> to be honest. Right. Um, I would love to see the glider, the hand glider one from Cobra. That would have mm-hmm. been pretty cool. Um, I think I stuff that, like that is totally feasible, right? Like... Yeah, they, I don't all. think they should. I think you know, to be honest, I think they could have put the his tank on in, uh, you know, uh, out on mainline or mm-hmm. uh, you know re- retail. I think it would have done fine. Mm-hmm. They would have they would have knocked it down in price. To be honest, you could have got the four tiers. You know, just give them a driver or something like that. But I think if they would have put that like at hundred fifty, give or take hundred 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 fifty dollars, I think it would have been fine for the his tank. Mm-hmm. Um, Man, I don't know. What be, I, I, tell mean, you what, I tell you what looks dope as shit is that uh, Tiger Force Duke motorcycle set. Mm-hmm. Oh, I missed out on that. I'm, not, I'm, eh, I'm good on that one. I don't know if I can get that one. Um, I don't know. As far as vehicles, I, I don't know. I mean, it would be cool to get a snowcat. That would be pretty cool. I would love. I, would, I had a yeah, snowcat. Yeah, I've always had a soft spot, spot for a snowcat. Yeah, I had one as a kid, so I'd love to, you know, have some yellow rockets coming out of that thing. Man, I I hated that guy's name that drove it. Snow job. Snow job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> such a dumb fucking name. <laughs> snow job. Man, I still to this day like I remember my my cousins Harvey and Raul were fucking ribbing me hard. Because they were just like, oh, that's the type of job. That's what, that's what you call a chick when she gives you head in the winter. Exactly. It's a snow job. Because, you know, the 80s, that was funny. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't get it. Don't make fun of my toys. You don't know me. Snow job's probably one of the worst names for a toy, for sure. And Recondo is one of the ones I'm looking forward to. But that's got to be a Target exclusive, right? That fucking whole Tiger Force line? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want the helicopter with... Um... Uh, who who flew the helicopter? Um, Wild Bill. Wild Bill. Or Wild Bill, yeah. Dusty. Wild Bill. I wouldn't mind that. Oh, they did a. Uh, they they made. Uh, they showed a. Um, uh, God dang, who they show? What was it? I, just, I went blank. Oh, shipwreck. They showed a shipwreck too with the parrot. Oh, that looks good too. Him and Rock and Roll. They got the the, the real looking life beard. Uh, Rock and Roll's got a nice little beard going on. I like it. But shipwreck has looked good. A lot of good stuff for uh, classified. Yeah, well, uh, you know, again, GI Joe's entering their own renaissance, and their retro packaging series looks really tight too. I oh yeah, guns. yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. That gun hole looks fucking dope. Yep. That's about it. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's basically SDCC in a nutshell. I mean, other other companies did have the spotlight. Um, you know, did focus on some of their products to SH Figure Arts, um, as well as Storm Collectibles with their um, let's show every anime we, we got licenses for, except for Bockler, uh, Grappy the uh, Baki the Grappler, jerks. 
Um, it would have been nice if you guys fucking did that, but whatever. Um, yeah, looking, a lot of things came up. As, and I'm, I'm glad STCC happened, you know? I would, honestly, like, out of all the videos I've seen of them, I would never go to a fucking STCC. Way too fucking crazy, man. Yep. Like, TFCon's, like, where I kind of drew the line on, on a lot of people. And then with everything going on the way it is nowadays, it's like, is it really worth... I would love to go, but it's too. It's not about the comics anymore. It's more about the movie stars and the trailers, mm-hmm. and so. Toys. But I would love to go to one. I would love to go to a San Diego Comic Con one time in my life, just to experience it. I know it's, it looks like a just a big clusterfuck of shit, but I, I wouldn't mind trying to go to one at least. I hear you on that. I hear you too, Oscar. I hear you, buddy. Are you eating sunflower seeds or something? No. I'm not either. Trying to get some head from Black Zarek over here to transform back to head mode. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, man. And then the twins, Zayma, King of Tomax. Yep, I'm waiting for those. Uh, they, those they, a lot of people shirt. are getting those. A lot of people are getting theirs overseas. And the bazooka looks fucking tight. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dusty, you got Zorana. Is it, is it Zorana? Zorana? I hope they do the um, uh, Dreadnoughts. Uh, I'm hoping they do those next sometime soon. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right. Well. Yeah. So, anything else you want to touch on, uh, Justin? No, I haven't really followed too much of uh, SDCC. If I'm honest with you. All right. Well, let's call it. A, let's call it a night, Oscar. You sexy mofo. Oh yeah, we sure will. As always, you could feel free to send us an email over mm-hmm. at. Hail Unicroncast at gmail.com. That is Hail Unicroncast at gmail.com. Uh, send us questions, comments, concerns. We'll address them on the air. I'm sure one of us will check the email one day. Oh, boy. Do we, um, uh, do we have another guest coming on anytime soon? I, I do. I am going to confirm with him later to, tonight to see if he's still interested in uh, appearing. Okay. Uh, okay. He's an original fan from back in the day. Um, oh, shit, really? Yeah, he's an original. Always been a listener since our SCU days, um, wow. since before the rebirth. Um, I'm gonna touch base with him see if he wants to be on next week. He, everyone loves this guy. He's a lovable, awesome guy. Beautiful voice on Stop him talking too. Talking about yourself, Oscar. Oh well, <laughs> it's me. I'm the guest. Um, so as always, big shout out to our good friend uh, Dust Mites for providing the beats for our theme song. Be sure to check out our friends over at Realm of Collectors on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Realm of Collectors. Be, for to check out, be, also, be sure to also check out facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash ROC Wrestling. ROC and, and like in Nancy Wrestling. Uh, we talk about the news. Like, you know, the big news of professional wrestling today is that Vince McMahon is officially retired from the WWE. Uh, yeah, retired. Yeah. Amidst all the... All the Basically controversy got kicked out. Like, get Pretty much out got here, forced dummy. out the door. Quit fucking everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, handing over fourteen point something million dollar allegedly fourteen point something a million dollars. Hush, 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 hush. NDAs and shit like that. Um, it, it really wow. And Triple H and Stephanie McMahon are back in play, and yeah, uh, Kevin Dunn, known right hand man of Mr. McMahon, a uh, 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 goon if you would. Is basically out of the picture. So, yeah, be sure to check out our hosts, our T2RX6 on YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash T2RX6. Our good friend Matthew, the champion Deluxe Baldwin on YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Deluxe Baldwin. Me on Instagram under Oscar and Jboy, O S C A R N J B O Y. Oscar putting out some fire pictures as of lately. Oh my God, dude. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I'm making up a year and a half of not drawing anything and it's like it's it's i'm just letting it come out i did i just knocked out a mondo gecko on per request for, for justin yeah, so i should email i should email you that so you can hang it on your wall yes you should on your bathroom you know? mm. yeah mm. you can look at that while you're dropping mm. pinching the loaf okay. and our good friend who did not join us tonight mr robert giagani sabato gigante be sure to remember be good to yourselves and each other stay reformatted and remember Buy what you like. Don't care what others think, man. Stop looking for people's approval. If it makes you happy because you want it, just fucking own it. Until then, on behalf of me and my friends here at All Hill Unicron, have a nice day somewhere else.
Suck it, Trebek. Yes. Suck it, Trebek. <laughs>